Hello and welcome back. Uh, so we're going to continue talking about <coughs> the polymod section of the Prophet 6. So we have the LFO over here, and that's sort of one type of modulation. The polymod gives us a chance to use oscillator 2 or the filter envelope as another source of modulation. Most of this relates to how it's going to affect oscillator 1. Um, so just to sort of recap, you know, oscillator 2 has some options. <laughs> It can work like an oscillator. It can also work independently. So it doesn't matter, you know, what note I press on the keyboard. If keyboard tracking is turned off, it's going to choose whatever frequency is assigned on this knob. We can also set it to an LFO, where it just, you hear it clicking there, because um, it's set to a sawtooth type of wave. Um, and we can also have LFO and keyboard assigned at the same time. So as I play higher and higher on the keyboard, the, it'll oscillate faster. Um, so just that's a good review. So here's oscillator 1. And we'll take oscillator 2, and we can assign it to frequency. And you notice keyboard tracking is turned off. So this is going to affect almost in like sort of a ring mod type of thing. Uh, I guess it's really more FM than anything because oscillator 2 is still in a frequency that is audio rate. If we turn it into a low frequency, I mean, there you actually hear the uh, sawtooth wave happening. Or square, or triangle. <laughs> okay, so, things to think about. Um, in terms of usefulness, you know, you can sort of tune this I found <clears throat> um, so if we take it and we take a square we can kind of try to find pleasing notes there's like a minor six let's see okay something like that <laughs> so there's our sort of um, siren shape. Um, so with keyboard tracking and low frequency turned on, if I play a higher note, we get a really fast oscillation. Um, um, so just, you know, think about how these can all go together in different ways. Or we can get crazy FM if we turn keyboard on. Um, it's got pretty extreme settings. Um, in terms of other stuff, we have shape, um, so we can modulate the shape of oscillator 1. Um, let me put this at a low frequency so you can hear it bending through. I'll turn it up a bit. Okay, so that's bending between a triangle and a square, just like turning this knob, basically. <coughs> we also have a pulse width modulation. Uh, let me see here. May actually choose a square. So we can affect the rhythm of that from here, or we could just have less modulation. And you get your nice pulse width modulation there. Um, we also have filter frequency modulation, low pass, high pass, or both. And I, I find that very fascinating, that sound of, like, everything at once happening. Um, <laughs> we can make it totally ridiculous, as you can hear. <laughs> um, so just something to be aware of um, that we can assign oscillator to. We can also do the filter envelope. Um, so, for example... Less useful for frequency one, but maybe interesting for percussion. Uh, so let's take a slow attack, kind of medium everything else. <laughs> um, so that's just following the knobs of the filter envelope. Maybe shape is a little more practical, though. So you can hear how that might be useful if we turn on like a sub octave and a hall reverb. And you hear all 
those shapes bending through. Um, so really cool. Same thing with pulse width modulation. And this one you can really mess with. <laughs> so it can bend all the way to silence, where the pulse is so skinny it makes no sound. Um, same thing with filter, etc. Um, I'm not sure the advantage of this over like actually using the filter. because um, we've got actual filter envelope amount here, maybe, you know, you could have a negative um, modulation and a positive modulation happening at the same time. So that would be an interesting thought. Um, so in a way, they would kind of, like, negate each other, I guess. Uh, let's try with the low-pass filter. And we'll assign this to the high pass filter and see what happens. <laughs> um, so there's options here to think about. Um, if you wrap your brain around it, you know, you can have filters turning in opposite directions because we have, you know, we're taking one filter envelope and just like doubling its utility with that section. Um, so I hope this gives you some ideas to try.